right now here in DC um, getting ready to vote on the debt ceiling short-term extension which I oppose but and I know everyone's tired of me making this procedural point but it's important one interesting thing happening on the House floor right now there's a conga line of proxy votes there, there were 193 proxies designated, it's down to 188. We don't know what the final number is gonna be, but I guarantee you it's going to be a lot. It's gonna be nearly 200 members of Congress voting by proxy. And in so doing, signing their name to a sheet of paper lying, saying they can't be here because of the coronavirus pandemic. Which makes no sense because the only reason we're having this astronomical increase in proxy voting is because this vote was unexpected. This is a recess week. We got called back into session to vote on the debt ceiling increase. And so there are a ton of people who merely didn't want to cancel their plans to do the job of being a member of Congress and vote on a pretty important issue, by the way, and thus are signing their names to a lie. 190, 100, 200, I mean, it's like a minority party in the House. This is completely out of control. I mean, if you have to miss a vote, there's a family emergency, your flight gets canceled, I get it, miss the vote, right? When my wife was pregnant and having our child, I missed the votes. But don't sign your name to a piece of paper lying that you can't get here because of the coronavirus pandemic. It's unethical, it's unconstitutional, and it's destroying the House of Representatives, what little of it remains.